momentum still with you, despite the fact you've got the one point, but you go into this game on the high, and uh, notably you are bookies favourites, but that means really nothing, does it? You're not surprised at that because the differential between the two leagues, if there is a wider gap than what we expect. I, 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 was, I didn't look at the, the betting or get told about the betting before I played Accrington, but I'm pretty certain Accrington have probably been favourites. Um, so, you know, we'll take that with a pinch of salt. It's going to be a tough game, tough place to go. Um, it's got a decent home form. It's the magic of the FA Cup. But we know if we play to our levels and we do our, our job, then we, we're going to be a, a, a tough nut to crack, and that's what we've got to be. That's the factor, isn't it, now, really, despite the fact that there will be certain pressure because people will expect you to win. That's a gimme, isn't it? I know it, it doesn't go like that in any game, but that you will be going there and a lot of people will be feeling that you are the better of the two sides. Yeah, I don't think there's any difference mentally between Tuesday night and last Saturday. The pressure's on to win in them games. It's no different this coming Saturday. Um, we're, we're near the top of the table and people expect us to win. I expect us to win every game. Um, so. The, the expectation has been there for a while now, probably since last Christmas, and we've got to make sure that that continues. You go there with the exception and the fact the financial gains you've already got from this particular time, a bigger, bigger, big bonus if you get into the third round. Of course. Is, that's the incentive, isn't it? Yeah, of course, that's one of the incentives without a shadow of a doubt. Um, the fact that you, know, you can end up um, making a few bucks for the football club. At the same time, we've got a job to do first and we've got to make sure that we don't trip ourselves up and answer any questions that he's to put to us and pose them plenty of questions. You are a big supporter of the FA Cup, you've said it to us many, many times. You, you still feel that it is a big, big major competition, not wherever you are. It's the best competition in the world. And the only reason the big boys in the Premier League don't say it is because they get influenced by money and it's not as profitable for them. That's the truth. But for yourself and Eastleigh, it really does have that magic, doesn't it, really? Despite the fact that we are only in the second round of it, it does have that magic, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We had the club docking yesterday because there was a fever going around. But he just, he just said it was FA Cup fever, so we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> You've thrown me a little bit there. <laughs> You've done your research and your hard work on Eastleigh. And um, they'll present problems, Dave, you know that, won't you? But you've done it, and they played in midweek as well, so uh, maybe they'll have one or two little niggles in there, but they've got to win. Uh, will that give them any excess, or is it just out the door because it's an FA Cup competition? I think, uh, I don't think you can dismiss form, I don't. But in competitions like this, I think you've got to be mindful that it's not the be all and end all. Um, and, and there is an element of on the day, you know. So we've got to make sure we perform. It's as simple as that. And accept anything or, or challenge anything that they throw at us and pose them plenty of problems. And, and hopefully our quality, you know, which which you'd like to think would be would be there because we are a league higher, will come to the fore. But we've got to make sure that whatever questions we're asked, we we, we can answer them. Contrasting styles. Not being too disrespectful to them, maybe, maybe not quite one dimensional, but they do like to get it and get it forward quickly, don't they? Yeah, I don't think you're being a bit unfair, but um, well, the, the conference team that got to the playoffs last year, I saw them in the playoffs at Wrexham last year, and Danny Owens scored a, a terrific goal. I saw them in the replay against Stalbridge a week and a half ago. So I've seen. Couple of, seen, seen them a couple of times, and, and the, like I said, when they played Wrexham, they, they, were, they were the better team. They nullified a good Wrexham team at that time and, and managed to, to get through the, to play Salford in the semis. So, you know, against Stalbridge, they were professional in their approach. And they were the ones that were a higher league, and, and they did the job particularly well. Um, yes, the I might have been fortunate to get a replay in the first instance, but they, they certainly you know, didn't suffer full of in that replay. So we know it's going to be a tough ask, it's going to be a tough game. But we've got to approach the game with the right um, mentality, the right approach. And, and obviously, 
trying to win the game and, and the riches and the, well, the potential riches that come with it.